Yo, what's up guys? This is Burn again, and this is part two of our Node tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about NPM. Um, NPM is a package manager for Node.js uh, and some other JavaScript libraries. Um, and it is really important because we're going to actually be starting up a new project for, to go over in these tutorials. And uh, we're going to start off from scratch. Um, we're going to import some libraries and stuff like that that we may need and we're going to go over more in the project a little bit later but I would just wanted to introduce you to NPM and exactly what it is. So uh, when you start up a new project typically you're going to need some libraries that, uh, that you don't want to write yourself, right? You don't want to write everything from scratch so we need to bring in some libraries of stuff we're going to need. Um, and NPM, NPM helps us do that by uh, basically giving us a command line that we can just say, oh, we want this library, we want that library, uh, we want the most up-to-date one, or maybe we don't. We don't want the most up-to-date one. We want something that we've used before that's compatible with everything else. So NPM is um, adaptive and lets us bring in exactly what we want. Uh, so let me show you how NPM works. Go ahead and create a new project uh, library. I'm going to just do my tutorial 2 and go into files. So we basically have an empty library here. We're going to hold shift and right click to open our command window. And the first thing we're going to do is type in npm init. Initialize a new npm. It's going to give you some information here. Basically here you're going to say your uh, project name. Uh, we're just going to call it tutorial2 uh, version, 00 is fine, we don't really need a description, the entry point, uh, the entry point is important because this is what uh, our server is going to be called, the first file that uh, is going to be run when we decide to run node. Uh, instead of index, this is just giving us a reference like what it thinks we should use, we're just going to go ahead and do server. Dot js instead. Uh, tests command, we don't need that. Git repository if you're using Git. Um, some keywords to describe it, your name if you want. A license, we don't really care. Um, other than that, that's going to be okay. So that's that. Let's go ahead and open this up and I'm going to show you what it created. It basically created a JSON file. Um, the JSON file includes some stuff like name, or version, description, some scripts, author, and license. Uh, what is not listed here yet is dependencies, and dependencies are what uh, libraries we're going to be bringing into our project. Um, and then when we uh, run a command, it will actually go out and download everything that we want um, and bring it into our project. So let me show you how to uh, bring a package using uh, npm. Um, we're going to go ahead and hold shift and open our command, command window here. Uh, one of the first things we're going to need here is um, Express. And Express is a framework, for, a web framework for Node. Uh, basically lets us do our routing and a whole lot of other things. So Express is a very uh, uh, widely used uh, framework and we're going to be using it a whole lot. So it's very important uh, that we have this library. Right, so we're going to do npm install express and then we're going to do dash dash save okay the dash dash save it means that it's going to go ahead and automatically put uh, the express into our uh, package.json file under dependencies if we don't save it uh, like this then we're going to have to go in and manually put in uh, the dependency for Express. So recommended that you uh, go ahead and uh, slash save it. So what this is going to do is it's going to go out uh, to NPM and it's going to find all the required uh, information for uh, Express and then it's going to download it and put it in our node modules here. So now let's look at our package.js or JSON and you'll see now that uh, dependencies express uh, and this is the version number uh, so let's do uh, it a different way and instead we're gonna do um, we'll go in here and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it uh, manually 
we're going to say we need EGS. And EGS is a templating engine, uh, so we can it's basically like an HTML file, but um, it lets us put in some like JavaScript inside the HTML, so we can do some different things, and we'll talk about more of that later. But we need this library for sure, so we're going to type in EGS, and then we're going to say we need the latest uh, version. So we'll save that, exit out of here, and then we'll go back to our files here shift right click open command window here and so if we type in npm install anything that hasn't been installed already that's in our package.json file will be installed so it's going to go out and it's going to download our egs files and now if we look in here uh, we'll see that express has been installed it was already installed and egs has been installed there's a couple other commands that we can use with npm uh, and those are um, basically a global install so say that we have something that we don't uh, want that's just specific to our um, project say it's something that we can use globally around our computer for different projects simultaneously um, we may want to install a uh, package globally and to do that we can type npm install slash g and the package name say it was like uh, express or whatever but we won't do that um, and that will install it globally and not just to our uh, local project um, if we want to install uh, uninstall I'm sorry uh, a module basically we're going to do npm uninstall and then the package name and same with um, <laughs> Globally, if we wanted to uninstall a global package, we would do slash uh, g before that. So those are some quick stuff. So basically, you had the npm init, then the npm install with the package name to install something locally, uh, slash g to uh, install it globally, and then uninstall. All of these things can be found in the documentation at docs.npmjs.com. Uh, getting started, all this uninstalling, updating. You can update like if you have an outdated um, package. Really quick, I'll show you that. Uh, npm outdated. It's going to look at all of our um, installed modules and see if anything's outdated. So basically, it's just saying. Um, is something the package path to regexp uh, basically a dependency of express that was installed before we installed express because express needs it uh, it's slightly outdated so it could use the latest version but we'll just ignore that for now um, and that's it uh, so we look forward to doing another tutorial next and I'll see you next time